I always see people asking uh, whether cards are fake or not or how to identify them. So we got a fake 1952 Campanella, and it's a pretty good looking fake. If it was online, it'd be kind of hard to tell. And a real 1952 Phil Hogstead or something. Both, uh, I don't have a real Campanella, so I used the uh, Hogstead just as an example. Now once you get up close, the, what, the first thing I always look for is, sorry, I'm having trouble here. You can kind of see this yellowish, uh, yellowish brown over the white. I call it yellowish brown haze, and that's always a guarantee that it's fake. Another look here, you see it sideways, that, uh, the real one is a lot thicker. Now these aren't 100% giveaways, but if you're ruling things out, I would do it that way and just use all these little tips. But anyways, yeah, that yellowish haze, it's always the first thing I look for. And you can see how it has just a kind of unnatural, even all the way around, yellowing over it. Another thing if I get in, you can start to see print dots, like pixelated print dots in Phil's face. Maybe you could even pause and zoom in better, they'll enlarge. Now on Campanella, there's gonna be no print dots. Some fakes have print dots, but it's pretty rare. Most of them don't. Now the fakers put the most effort in the front of the card. So once you flip over to the back, it gets even more obvious what's fake and what's real. You can see a complete difference in this uh, gray cardstock versus this is white. I mean, if it was on eBay with kind of shady pictures, it'd be hard to tell. But compared next to a, uh, a real one, it's a dead obvious giveaway. It would almost be impossible not to tell. The thing to look for. And then also, if this says, uh, if the faker choose to use uh, a really nice back, the closer you look, this one's kind of grainy. And this one's really smooth. I mean, you can, you can kind of see the little ruffles in this. And this doesn't have any of that, it's really smooth. Another one that everyone says, if you have it in person, take a flashlight like this. And if it's real, you won't be able to see through it. Now here, so you can see the flashlight, you can see his statistics. You can really see the card shining through. See all those lines there? Especially in the yellow part. With the real one, that just won't happen because this cardboard is so much thicker. And that also brings you back to the original thing, how much thicker that real cardboard is. And these are all things you're gonna see on not just 1952, and pretty much all of the 50s tops and everything, and even older ones like Ty Cobb, the old tobacco cards, and then the 60s and 70s. If you like the video, please subscribe.